Welcome to our project presentation video for the CME Student Competition December 2020. This presentation will show how to balance staffing and food production to maximize profits and customer satisfaction, increasing productivity and overall level of service. The main purpose of this project is to achieve a profitable solution maintaining the focus on waste reduction. We organized our presentation in seven different sections, starting by presenting the problem. Now, let's understand the problem. Simu's barbecue smoke pit is growing and seems unable to deal with the customer's waiting time. Our goal is to find new strategies to limit the impact of the system bottlenecks. With that purpose, we will use a simulation optimization approach to select the best operational decisions. We want to find the better set of actions that will improve and balance the critical performance indicators, profit, order to delivery, and percentage of customers leaving the restaurant without a meal. A major challenge is without a doubt the food stock management. Meat outages lead to customer losses. Up to 8% of the customers have to change their order. Cooking times lead to increased waiting times, and a significant part of the customers leave due to long queue times. All of these factors represent profit losses and a decrease in the customer satisfaction levels. We will now present the data set we work with. Due to clear seasonality of the customer arrivals, we need to find dynamic stock policies. The growing tendency is not significant, although it indicates that there is a potential for growth. We can also see that the restaurant has a higher demand towards the end of the week. Most of the customers come either in pairs or by themselves. The customers can choose from 8 different meals and 4 different sides. The most popular items are sandwiches and fries. Now we are going to show our implementation of the problem in the Simu software. In our model, we use three different types of entities, tickets, meet rates, and customers. If the group reaches the order window, they will make an order. A ticket for each customer will be printed in the kitchen according to the customer's preference and meet availability at the time. This will save the IDs of the customer that will be needed in the future. The group can leave the queue before making an order, due to long waiting times. When there is a meat stock outage, no more orders will be taken. However, if someone in the group had already made an offer, the customers will still move to the patio. To follow the current safety regulations, the patio must be divided into five individual areas. In order to model this requirement and to control how many groups and replacement in the patio, we've developed a matrix. This matrix registers the order ID, the size of the group, and how many orders are ready for packing. With the exception of the fries, all the food items have stocks both in the assembly stations and cabinets. Looking more detail at the process, the worker verifies the food availability to prepare the meal. If the quantity available is not enough, you will pick up the item from the cabinets. This process also ensures that no other worker is already making the restock. To model the three tasks performed during the cooking process, preparation, cook and clean, we use three different stations. The worker is only required to be present during the first and last tasks. Whenever a site reaches a specific threshold, the worker who was making the pickup will move to the cooking area and start the preparation. Even though one or more sides may be cooking, there might be stock left in the cabinets, so the other meals can continue to flow through the system until the stock runs out completely. After finishing the cleaning task, the worker will stock both the cabinet and the assembly station. After the sourcing and finishing, the orders will enter a combiner and reunite with the others from the same group. When this happens, the worker will pick up the bundle order, perform packing and deliver it to the customers through the outside window. The respective group will be called whenever their order ID reaches the packing station. As you can see in this table, the profit, the order to delivery time and the percentage of customers lost verify the required parameters. Even though our change order value is slightly lower, we can consider that the model is valid. This is the first step towards the improvement of the restaurant. Here is a small video of our simulation model. The customers make the order in this outside window. The ticket will be printed at the back and the meal will start to be prepared by one of the workers. Then, you will move to the side assembly station. If needed, you will have to cook one of the sides. Here, we can see the worker cleaning after the cooking task. The preparation will now be concluded in the sourcing and finishing station. Once all the meals of one group are finished, the packer will pick up the bundled order and perform the packing. The end off is made through the other outside window and the group leaves together. We'll now move on to analyze modeling results. To find our system's bottleneck, we analyze our results and gather the values of utilization percentage. On average, our food workers have doubled the utilization time of the cash register and the packer. 
Due to longer processing times, the meat assembly station also has a much higher utilization. Food workers and meat station are the system bottlenecks and should be the focus of our study. On the other hand, the group survival rate varies throughout the day with a peak in demand during dinner time. This peak is higher and broader at the end of the week. The occupation rate of the food workers is also higher in this period. We've used a three-step methodology to improve the efficiency of the restaurant. First, we find the system bottleneck and come up with ideas to minimize its effects. Second, we change the model accordingly and analyze the results. Third, if the results are promising, we adjust the stocks using real customer demand. We then run our model with OptQuest to minimize the customers who are forced to change their order and find the best overall solution. After analyzing the current situation, the next step is to find how to improve it. Our first recommendation is to implement new restock policies. Considering the difference between arrival rates throughout the day, we suggest using two different reorder points to the set cooking. To minimize wasted movement, we suggest that every time a worker has to pick up meat from the cabinet, he will replenish all the meat types in the assembly station. To ensure that there is enough smoked meat for the whole day and to minimize the waste, we suggest cooking a second batch during the day. This will work as a safety stock. To complement this strategy, the amount cooked in the nighttime will vary according to what's left from the previous batch. The expiration time has been set to 15 hours for each batch, according to the current daily duration of the meat batch. Allowing the workers to prepare half trays creates the possibility of further adjusting the stocks to the demand. As noted before, the cash register and the packer have 70% unoccupied time. Therefore, we decided that we only need one worker per shift in the customer service team, taking orders and making the end off. So, we also moved the packers to the food production team. To complement that measure, the packing will now be performed by the food production team, right next to the sourcing station. The layout is slightly different, as shown in the picture on the right. Here is our suggestion for the new work schedule. We noticed that after 11 pm, the food production team doesn't have any tasks left, so we've shortened the number of hours for those workers. The packer relocation and the schedule reduction would save $28 a week in employee costs. We still wanted to answer the high volume of orders during the dinner period. To do that, the management could take part in the food production team during that period, which would require no additional costs. If that isn't possible, a part-time worker should be hired. This would lead to an increase in $400 to employee costs. The new stock, food production and worker policies resulted in a significant customer satisfaction improvement. We managed to decrease the change order percentage in more than half. The number of customers who have to leave the restaurant without food is less than 1%. In conclusion, we are able to save 535 more groups of customers. Concerning the key time performance indicators, we decreased the order to delivery time, customer timing system and the queue times during peak hours. Finally, the profit value grew by more than 227% compared with the current situation. Overall, our approaches save approximately 1.6 trays of meat each week. Twist of sides has increased, but it wouldn't be possible to achieve the previously stated levels of performance without this downside. We are now going to present some final remarks. After our simulation study, we concluded that it isn't economically and waste viable to speed up the food production assembly processes with the purpose of preventing customers from leaving due to long waiting times. Having larger stocks in order to serve all customers is less profitable and leads to significant wastes. The system is kept by the station's capacities, in particular the mid assembly station. Finally, we'll provide our approach to the additional problems. In the first problem, we were asked to calculate the number of years it would take the restaurant to recover the investment in a new smoker. After implementing the changes to the model, according to our recommendations, we simulated each day of the week. We checked the order registries, and using those values, we defined an interval of stock quantities to each type of meat, to be optimized using OptQuest. And, in the day with the most demand, we only cooked a total of 31 trays. Even if the demand increased by a lot, we still have room to cook up to 60 trays per day, split in two batches. In our analysis, the restaurant is kept not by the smoker, but by the meat assembly station. Our recommendation is to produce two batches per day according to this schedule. In the second and last problem, we are presented with two options for each half of the restaurant. Either expand the patio or add another cash register, and either acquire a station or a new piece of equipment. In the front half of the restaurant, we chose to increase the order pickup waiting zone, because even though the cash register also does the end of, is still free for more than half of the time, and doesn't represent a bottleneck of the system. 
Doubling the period size in the current system would allow starving an average of more 62 groups per week, which means 2% less lost customers by long waiting times. In the back half, for the reasons mentioned before, the best option is to invest in a new meat assembly station. With this new piece of equipment, we could decrease the order delivery time to 4.7 minutes, which would mean an overall increase of the customer satisfaction level, even without optimizing the stocks.